video here or can you hear me? I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. Great. Okay. Cool. Can you see me now? Please let me know if you can see and hear me. And we can get started. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get in here. There's a little bit of a lag time, it seems. Okay. All right, so it looks like there's a little bit of a lag here um, with the streaming service rather than right on YouTube. So I'm going to go there. Okay, yeah. Let's see. It should. Great. Awesome, Wendy. I'm glad that you can see me. See. Um, hold on. Let me get a little mirror. No, I'm going to get better at this as it starts to go. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. Just saying. So. Okay. So. I'm get these little mirrors set up. Good. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm glad that you can see and hear me. A new foray for me for sure. I have been um, resisting getting online <laughs> to teach for so long. So I, um, yeah, I just really truly appreciate all of you guys um, rolling with the punches and being with me right now. So I'm gonna put on a pair of pants because it just got really cold here. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty nuts today here in Chicago. It was, um, like 81 and got in my car for the first time, um, since getting back from New Orleans and went to go pick up my lover who's going to be staying here with us for the quarantine. And yeah, it's been a journey. So, um, I picked up a fancy microphone from a friend that wouldn't connect to my computer so hopefully the audio is okay. Please keep letting me know how it is and I will work on getting it to be a little more streamlined for next week. So, um, we're here today for a belly dance. Um, yeah, we're here today for Belly Dance Nouveau. I've changed the, <laughs> the name of this. Okay, so I'm laughing because I can see myself in um, lag on the screen and it's pretty funny because I get to see myself laugh about something in the past so laugh about it in the future. Ah! Okay, so we are um, here together on live stream and this is pretty exciting to be able to like, be here together and that feels really neat. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so I can see myself in real time. There we go. Okay, learning new software. <laughs> okay, so um, I am not going to play music because last time in the in the burlesque class um, they took my um, whole video down uh, because I was playing music. So we're going to try not to play music. Um, however, I have popped the Spotify playlist link in um, in the comments uh, in the chat, and so you can play that on your own and also. Uh, have a bunch of really good music to dance to. Uh, 
too. So um, I would love if you would uh, enjoy that and put on your own music. I don't want to risk putting it on here until I test it a couple times just to see if it's going to um, stop the whole thing and mute my whole video. So um, we're going to do a great drills from top to bottom. I'm changing the name of this from Belly Dance Basics as it was for years and years. I've been teaching this, I don't know how long, whenever I'm here in Chicago and um, changing it from Belly Dance Basics to Belly Dance Nouveau, which for me harkens to the Art Nouveau era of the world that I love and also brings it into this new and exciting place of reinvention and um, kind of fusion and bring it together. I recognize that while I love belly dance and I love traditional belly dance, the type of belly dance that I love to teach has a lot more um, like resounding cross-cultural referencing um, within being the same deep historical lens of belly dance, right? And also acknowledging where belly dance comes from. Belly dance is traditionally um, a Middle Eastern and an Arabic art form. And I um, am a white girl from America with ancestors from Europe. And so um, in that, right, I acknowledge that um, it is not my ancestry. And I think that in today's day and age, as we learn to cross reference and bring other cultures together, the more we can learn about them, the more we can understand them in the grand scheme of things. And thusly, the more that we can bring it into our body and understand truly that we are all human. And that while we have our own favorite ways and our own cultural traditions, truly we are human. And all that we really have is being human, the more that we can bring ourselves together, understand each other's cultures, the stronger we're going to be as humans. Right? This global pandemic is really crucial in showing us that, and showing us that while one country does something and another country does another, at the same time, we're all humans and we're all susceptible to this. And we have so much to offer each other if we would learn and share. So today we do that in a little bit of belly dance. Okay, so we're going to get into some fun movements and some fun things. I'm going to put my music on really low, um, so you can probably hardly hear it, but I encourage you to put your music on and also adjust the tempo of my speech to your, um, to your own, there we go, let me figure out how to do all this, um, so we can uh, adjust. So please, like, use my words, but then also go to the beat or just go to the fun rhythm that you desire um, in your living room or your kitchen. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining me here for Belly Dance Nouveau as we flow together. Okay, so belly dance has its roots in the celebration, um, in the nourishment, and kind of the cohesiveness of traditionally women's dances from um, the Middle East, as I was saying. And so, um, in that, it's really rooted in the spine and it's rooted in undulating through all of our joints, specifically the shoulders, the hips. I'm sorry, the shoulders, the rib cage, the hips. We do some head, there's lots of elbows as we go, right? And so, I want for you um, to be very easy with yourself. Belly dance, if you've never done it before, it can be super hard <laughs> um, as we learn to isolate just one portion of the body. It takes a lot of practice and I have been doing it, oh gosh, for like 15 or 16 years. And so I choose to teach it because I believe it is an incredible way to open up the spine and to really come back into this humanity of all the different ways that our body can move. Yeah. So we'll play with a lot of that today. Okay. So I'm going to turn on this playlist really low. You want to get yourself in space, make sure you have some water. Start to clear your energy. If you're just popping in with us, um, I would love for you to uh, just ground in and make sure that you are here right now. That you are nowhere else but here. Okay, perfect. So take a moment. And if you ever want to, right, we are in this live 
situation together, so please pop me anything in the live chat, okay? So I'll have you come up with some things to put in there as we go, okay? So for now, I'm putting on my playlist, I hope you are too. Ground in your space, clear it out, ground your feet down. Okay, so this playlist is called Belly Dance Slowness and Pace. And so I made this last year after I fractured some ribs. Um, what are my plants? I have many plants and I love them all. And so, there we go. So ground your feet down into the ground, into the earth, into the carpet or the wood or what tile, whatever you have underneath you, and feel your toes grounding down and raising up to the back of your spine, taking a deep, deep breath in, and then exhaling, sculpting the arms through space. If you just joined me for burlesque class, you should already be a little bit warm. This is your first movement of the day. Start to juice up all those joints. Okay, so we're just going to warm them all up. Start to roll the hips around, kind of open and close those hips. We'll start right in the center. Just move through and open and close that body. Move it back and forth. Good. One more time, back and forth. Bending your knees to get yourself into the hips, right? So we're here in a space of non-judgment. You're not going to let yourself get into judging yourself at all. Just let it fly out the window. Be here with your body today. Okay? We just finished talking about sensuality and empowerment in burlesque. And so think about how sensuality and empowerment can infuse every single type of movement. Start to get into your shoulders and see if you can move your ribcage. Start to move your heart and your lungs. Taking deep breaths and moving into the huge back space. And then opening up, starting to undulate through the shoulders and the chest in any way that delights and empowers and potentially satisfies. And then letting this all move. Now, taking it into the extremities, I want you to roll through the wrists and articulate through the fingers and find how you can get the computers and the smartphones and the pens and the pencils out of your hands and really open them up through and bring it into space. Bring yourself roll. I'm letting those ankles roll move through. Pressing, trying to roll an extra way. Can you move both ways? Those ankles, one way or the other. Of course you can. Start to explore. Take a deep breath in and ground your feet and your hands down. Pressing, dripping the shoulder blades down the back and roll the head from one side to the other. Allowing for the shoulders to drip down the back. Nice and slow, and roll around. Taking deep breaths. And then you're going to go the other way. All the way around, last one. Now open up your jaw. You can open your jaw all the way. And take a deep breath now. Widen your lips. Ah, close your eyes. Scrunch your face up and warm up that face. And you're moving it around, using your eyeballs to look in both directions and roll big circles around the room. Give a big smile as big as you can. And then squish your mouth in as small as it can. Good. Now open up. Deep breath in and forward fold down. Touch out through those hamstrings. Moving down, bending, and rolling back up. Two more times. We 
roll forward with the hamstrings, stretching, bending down, and rolling up through the spine. One more time, juicing up through every one of those vertebrae down. Bend the knees and roll in. Up. Good. You roll through the shoulders. Roll. Roll. Maybe letting the chest spin in it and reverse. And roll the hips around in a circle, nice and easy, just warming it up. Three, four, and reverse. One, two, three, four. Good. Whichever way you want, turn, press one foot down. We're going to go into a lunge. Press one foot back, one foot forward. Lifting up with the arms and reaching down. Oh, my head is here. She misses all of you and wishes you could be here to pet her too. The good time is that we all need to spend so much time with our pets. I want you to reach forward here and move into this hip. Lifting up and out. And noticing how the front of the hip feels. Making sure the knee is over the toe. Now lifting up. Turning around, give yourself a little forward fold with the wide legs, pressing into the floor or onto a chair or the couch, and find a little mobility, moving the hips side to side. I want you to let your head relax. I need to look up the camera so you can hear me speak. Okay, so we go right and left. Try to keep the back flat and find a tone in the belly. Good, now coming up, rolling up, turn the feet the other way, okay, adjust if you need to, belly button scoops in and up, reaching forward, okay, we're going into the front hip flexor here, you can lift the arm up to find a little bit more space, good, the same up. inhale, exhale, reach, good, lift. Okay, one more forward fold down through the center, but this time first, reach out. Squeeze the thighs together, lifting up. Expand through all four, five points. Drop the shoulders down, reaching out, and then going forward one more time. And allow for yourself to hang and move and bend your knees however you want to really get into those hips, compressing and moving at your own pace. Whatever feels good. Creative movement here. Rolling around. Rolling. And rolling the spine back up when you're ready. And your own is coming forward. Okay. So, belly dance new bow. Here we go, let's start. I would love to hear any intentions you have. And so if you have any intentions for joining belly dance today, the full moon, the full pink moon, which means that we're feeling a lot of things. <laughs> All the emotions are coming through and it's fine to feel them. And so in this class, as things come through your body, especially moving your spine and your heart and your hips, that hips are the junk drawers of everything we feel. Our chest cavity controls our lungs, which is really huge in breathing and moving. They're the bellows of the body, the diaphragm, right? And our heart, which holds so much emotion too. So as we move these, not to mention the spine, right? A lot comes up. And so if you feel any of that, just let yourself feel it. This time that we're in right now is meant to feel. We have the time to be still, and to dance and to move. And so this practice is to help you feel all of that. So put those intentions in. There's a slight lag and I'm going to read them as soon as they're coming in, okay? And start to ah, just let yourself be here. One of my favorite practices is to let myself drop my weight onto my heels and actually sit back a little bit into my back body. You see how that weight adjusts over my toes? over my toes, and then over my heels, and then somewhere in the middle. I want you to find this weight somewhere in the middle, and bend your knees down, and slip into this back body, and slip into this place of receiving 
through the back, opening up the shoulder blades like wings and feeling supported. Okay? Here, I want you to feel deep into the feet and bend the knees generously. So let yourself bounce. Let yourself drop heavy into the earth. Let yourself bounce and drop. I have some things coming through. We need movement through the joints. We need, oh no, the pink moon's hidden behind a thunderstorm. But still, send those intentions in as you feel them and just let yourself drop. In. If you don't have one right yet, if you don't want to type it, I don't care. Right? This is for you. So press out into the space around you. Bend those knees and bring your feet right underneath your hips. This is our belly dancing stance. Here we're able to move our joints. I want you to feel into your spine and find that spine alignment. Are you jutting out through one vertebrae or the other? Can you lift in and up with your abdominal walls so that when you have the natural curvature of your spine, you have a mirror nearby. This is a great activity to do the spine the curvature and find the plumb line so you don't have to work at keeping yourself up. So find that and drop down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press the arms down, lift up underneath the armpits and press the shoulder blades down the back. You press down. And we allow for ourselves to reach out. So take a deep breath. And as you exhale, scoop into that back body, bend the knees. Find space in the fingers and start to caress the air again. Move the head right and left, and right and left. Moving from the bottom of the chin and finding the space in the neck. See if you can move the head back a little bit. And so your ear is moving over your shoulder and you're sliding your chin as if you're sliding a cup on a stable table. Right? Left, right, in threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Right, left. Take the arms up. We go front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Keep it going. One and two. Three and four and a little faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And lift it up and open. We're going to curl the head around in a circle. So let your head just move. Opening up the channel of the throat from the body to the head. Isolating. So here in belly dance. One of the hallmarks of belly dance is isolation. You pause and reverse that circle. Our isolation allows for us to move one body part at a time. Our body is connected in body chains. No, not body chains you wear, rather chains, anatomical chains of muscle and bone. And so those stream through the body and make the whole body want to move as one. And so here in this class, we're going to focus on isolating sometimes to let ourselves move just one piece. So let your head be still and shake it out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, boom, press down into those knees if you want a good little quad workout. Right, my feet are flat on the floor. Flat. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see my shoulders. We're going to go down, okay? And here, we lift one shoulder, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. We go one and two, three, four, just lifting one shoulder and the other and dropping it fully down. Then we go up at the same time, down, up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Go forward and back just with the right. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Now just roll the right shoulder and try to keep everything else in the body super still. So still. 
Now reverse the shoulder roll. Good. Two and three and four. Good. We go front and back. Yeah. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Good. One, two, three, four. Roll it around. Finding the space. I have a lot of crunchies in the shoulder, and so notice if you too have little crackles of openings of all of the sinews. Now reverse the circle around the joint. Try to keep everything so still, except for that shoulder. Your arm is going to fall. I think about petting the air. One more. Take a deep breath in. Give your shoulders a hug. I want you to crawl your hands back onto your shoulder blades. Lift up and then press down, down, down with the shoulders. Try to move them away from your ears and see how this feels in your shoulder joints. Take a deep breath in. Exhale now, keeping the shoulders there. Lots of space between the ears and your shoulders. Lift up towards the sky. And then coming back down. Open up, fly those wings out. Good, shake them out. And now fly them out again. And we go the other direction. Other arm on top this time. Walk those fingers back if it feels good to you. Drop down. Lift the elbows up for a little more stretch. And drop the shoulders away from the ears. Whew, feeling this one. Deep breath in. If you want to feel a little more, walk those arms. Your hands only go here. That's fine. Finding the space in these shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift up one more time, up towards the sky. And letting them come out. Shake it out. Find the mobility in those joints. Good. Okay, so now we go. A nice little squat for you. Okay, if you want to open up through those knees to get a little squatting action. Make sure my cat isn't behind me. We go down, right? You can do this here to get a little bit of fire and heat if you want to get a little bit of a workout. So we're going to go right, left, one, two, three, four. 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 Faster, one, two, one, two, three, four. Right, left, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Faster. This brings us into our first shimmy. Okay. Bring those feet together and lift it straight up and down. So we're shimmying and shaking. My favorite thing here is to make noise. Ah. Ah. Mm. Good. So shaking, shaking out. Good. And ah. Good. Let's give some deep undulations to the back. Take the tailbone and start to move the tailbone forward and back and letting the movement of the spine undulate through. Forward and back, forward, back. Good. Lifting up, we go into our chest. So we go right, left. Me a little bit closer so you can see left. Right, left, right. So here I slide the bottom rib as if along a table, right? So really reaching with that bottom rib and finding your obliques. Okay, so we reach right, left. And try to keep your head and your hips totally still. They're not moving at all. Good, right? If you want to stay here, you ready for a little more? We'll go right hand up to the head. Now switch. Left hand to the head. Two, three, four. Now we go for two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Take the hands down. One, two, three, four. Up, two. Four, up, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. 
two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. See how fast you can go, keeping just this motion. And ready, stop, lift, <sighs> forward fold. Roll it up. And we pop the chest forward and back. So we go forward and back. Forward. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. We go. One, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Really focusing on moving the sternum. So I open up, open the bottom ribs up and squeeze the shoulder blades together, right? Okay. And then as I close, I open the shoulder blades apart and I pull in through the top part of my abdominal wall whew, and to the diaphragm forward, okay? So do that again one time slow, squeezing the shoulder blades together, keeping the hips still and finding this openness in the heart, in the space, finding a curve and then pulling forward and finding space in the back as if you're sitting back and trying to get your heart to touch the wall behind you, okay? We go faster. And one, two, one, two, one, two. Find the tempo of the music you're listening to. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Go one, two, three, and hold. One, two, three. Take a breath. Inhale. Two, three. Letting your heart burst forward and unwind anything that you're moving through. What traumas, what triggers, what hurts, what loves and joys are you feeling in your heart? And how can this movement start to let them open up? Two, three. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, fast and back. One, two, three. 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 Pop, 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 pop. We go side, side, side. I let those fingers have that electricity, that soft feeling. Two, three, and four. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure your knees are bent. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now in a circle. One, take it to the side, take it to the back. Take it to the side and front. Take it to the side. Take it to the back. Finding this circle. You're circling your heart around. And with each spiral, you unwind whatever is causing you pain and spiraling into the joy that you know you can feel. Every moment's different. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Now smooth that out into a circle. Finding the circle and keeping the hips so still. And just moving the ribs. This is super hard. Just finding the ease. If you can, take a deep breath in and relax into it. The more you can relax, the easier this is going to be. The more you try so hard, the harder it's going to be. Good. Roll around and back. Roll around and back. Roll and more advanced. We go faster. Can you move your circle a little bit faster, keeping the hands down? Roll, roll, roll. A little bit more advanced. Try to move the feet. Just the feet moving side to side. Roll. If you don't want to do that, just Stay still and slow. Whatever feels good to you. Roll and roll. Okay, now a little bit faster. How fast can you push those edges? Okay, we are at the end of this side. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Make a noise. Let any tension that you're holding on to go away with this. Exhale. <sighs> Fully inhale. Lift through the pelvic floor up. Exhale out. Ah, 
Ah, into the feet. One more time. Inhale. Exhale out. Good. Take a second. Close your eyes. Pull your hands on your heart. Or maybe on the back of your heart and the front of your heart. Both simultaneously. Just tune in and how do you feel? Can you put a name to it? Do you need to? Probably not. Just let it be. Your hands slowly slip away. Come back. Deep breath in. Exhaling <sighs> out. Dropping back into the knees. We get ready to go to the other side. Okay, with each direction, we have different patterns. We have a normal way of moving, a normal way of turning, of flowing. And so here, second side might be easier or harder. So I want for you to really get into this other side and have no expectations. So grounding down through your feet, inhaling, we go front, other way, back, other side, front, side. Really focusing on moving from the bottom of the belly. So here, as we work on isolation, we allow for ourselves to find the individual muscles and in movement. And then when we open up in free dance, we become so much greater in our expression because we have found the individual disciplines of moving one body part at a time. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Wendy says she's tired, but her throat opened through these movements. So here, can you find your throat opening even more and letting your shoulders drip down your back? Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now roll it around, finding this circle and letting the hands continue to breathe just like your lungs, inhaling. More space, exhaling, make space for more. Inhale, exhale, letting all of this movement roll around. Roll, back, roll, and back. Roll, and back, roll, and back. A little faster, one, two, can you take the arms down? Yeah, if you don't want to go this fast, you do not have to. Okay, so we go side, two, and we go side, two, and we go side, two, and we go side, two. So from far away, I'm moving my feet, two, one, two. So this is called layering, where I do two things at once, and I start to move two isolations at the same time. Okay, so we're focusing on chest. If you just want to stay still, totally fine. You want to stay still and slow, that's just fine. Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath in. Inhale. Ah, let yourself still. And inhale. Exhale. Good. Now, whatever music you have playing, now is the time to dance, to let yourself move however you desire. We're going to get into our hips next. And so I want this to be either a dance of opening up more into the chest and shoulders, or if they're really tired, letting them be super easy and starting to undulate and focus on the hips and the feet. So I'm going to dance with you. Please let yourself tune out of your mind and tune into your body and just really let go 
of whatever you feel like you should be dancing like and find this dance of joy and bliss. It's 2020, life is crazy wherever you are. So let yourself move through that. how your breath can guide your movement. The breath is the way to come back to the body time and time again. So let your breath move shoulders and ribs and hips. Right? Nowhere to be but here. You're perfect, just as you are. Your dancing won't look like me. And that's great because you are you. Remember that. And in this belly dance, find how your breath can guide your movement into being an instrument. You are a physical expression of the music. It helps to close your eyes, tune into what it feels like in your body. wrapping up this little jam session, this delicious movement modality. Coming back, tune into your body. How do you feel when you dance today? Not yesterday, not when you were 16. How did it feel to dance in your body today? Where else do you wish to move? Right? No judgments. You can type whatever words come up to you in the comments. Don't think about it. Just verbalize them out into your space, say them, and then type them. So I can read them too, so I can hear you. Please, when I dance, I feel connected. And I feel like a piece of art moving to the music that other artists create. And I can be the verbal, I'm sorry, I can be the kinetic, physical beauty that is witness to the auditory listening of the music. So. really, really wants to dance with us. This is 11. Ooh. Now, we get into our hips a little bit. Ah. Move with abandon now. Yes. So now, we get into our hips. Okay? So, your hips are your creative center. And these places going to allow you to change the world okay so they have so much power oftentimes we don't think of them as guiding all of our movement they are our biggest muscle and our biggest bone and they have so much power and so many different ways that they can move so let's start by stretching them out a little bit we're going to sink down into a nice goddess squat as it were we're going to move our hips 
side to side. I want you to drape the hands over the head as if, yes, you know, I am just glorious. Not just glorious, I am glorious and I am moving my hip joint moving. Try to straighten that other leg and see how low you can dip down. Scooping up in the belly, dropping the shoulders down, down, lift, down. Now put the hands underneath the head. Lift as if you're listening. What are you listening for? Down, lift, go one, two, stretch it out, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it up and lift. Good. Roll those hips around. Good. Coming in balance. So lift one knee up. Tuck it into the chest. If you want to hold on to something, go for it. Okay. Pull that knee in. Drop your tailbone down so you're not rounding the back. But try to lift straight up and pull your knee to your chest. If you want to do this sitting or holding on to something, be my guest. Good. Take it down. Shake that knee out. And now lift that foot up to the back and stretch out through the front of the quad. Pulling in, bring that heel in towards the booty, no matter how far it goes. Capture that foot. Okay, if it's really tight, you can put it on a chair and just lean back into it. So hold it there. And lift. Good. Other side. We go. Capture the knee. You can cross the fingers and hold it here. Or you can pull in, or you can just hold the knee and the ankle. Try to activate that foot. You can flex it or point it. Hold in, pull in. Feel that compression. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And shake it out. Now stack. Lifting up. Into this quad. You want to hold on to something, right? Or put your other arm out like a balance pull. Hold it there. Great. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Shake it out. And we go with our hips. My feet are going to be planted down. Okay? My knees are bent. Nice and bent. Can you see that? Okay? So my knees are so bent because the more bent our knees are, the more that we can move our hips. So find this feeling of how moving makes you feel and then infuse it into your hips and we go bump, bump. The hip bump is the basis, bump. And I want you to round the arms around the hips to showcase this hip bump. Press the hands a little bit forward, left, drop the shoulders on the back and start to find this sharp movement, right? Left, right, left, right. Find whatever tempo it is to the music you're listening to. And I want you to now squeeze this cheek that's coming in. We squeeze, 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 squeeze. Open up those arms, cultivate and pour joy all over yourself. And then come down strong. Feel your strength. Squeeze in through the center channel. Squeeze in through your mulabandha, in your perineum, right, left, right. Drop your shoulders. Find the tempo. Good. Open the arms up. One more wash. Flooding yourself with whatever you desire more of. The full moon offering all that abundance in. Good. We go fast. Two, one, two, one, two, two. Open the palms up. Offering. Place them here as if you're holding two plates laden with everything you desire. Can you feel everything you want on these plates? Just let them be there. Patience. Maybe you don't get them quite yet. Hold it. Get those hips moving. Nothing else is moving but the hips. Right? Right? Good. Take that hands forward. Take the plates down. Good. Lift it up. Good. Open. We go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So the hip bump goes a little faster. And we move it side to side. Good. Coming back in. Pull those elbows in. Lift them up. Good. And slow. 
on the floor. We'll have all of it later. Good. Now we double bump. Bump, bump, hold. Bump, bump, hold. Bump, bump, hold. Bump, bump, hold. Other side. Bump, bump, down. Good. Lift, lift. I squeeze my seat. Squeeze, squeeze. I squeeze my oblique. Squeeze, squeeze. Other side. One, two, down, good, invite it in, come in here, and come in. <sighs> How do you feel when you dance? Lift, lift, down, lift, lift, down, lift, lift, down, lift, lift, down. Tempo change, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, switch, one, up, up, down, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze uh, again, factor one. <laughs> Have a little fun with it. Up, switch one and down, two, down, three, down. Last time, go one and down. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. One and down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Good. Uh, let it keep moving. Here, you groove out to the music that you have on your console. Just start letting yourself move and groove. You, whatever is alive for you. Jump. Oh yeah, we have a comment saying your abs hurt a little. Yes, this is absolutely a great core workout. So here to dance it out, having fun. Notice how you are using every aspect of your core and so your abs will get a little sore. Cool, we go back, we go right, left, right, left, right. So here, notice how you are. You're scooping up through the abdominal wall here, and then you're scooping up on either side. So we're doing a great core workout right now, using our hips, the most fun in my opinion. Good, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now we go into a full circle. Okay, drawing circles for the full moon. Okay, mirroring those circles as we see our entire orb in the sky illuminated, just like the whole sun, just like the circle of life. Yada, yada. Drawing circles. Infinite, infinite, switch other way. One, two, three. Drawing circles, 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 switch. One, two, now four. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, we go twos. One, two, one, really one and a half. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We go right. Bring the feet together. Good. Here we are. One, two, one. You're doing great. Left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left. We go one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three. Now, what arms do you want to do? Two, three, hold. How can you make this fabulous? One, two, three. <sighs> Connect to your own desires. How does dancing make you feel? Find the arm motions that go with that little. Doesn't have to be extravagant. It can just be a little peek of the fingers. It can be your favorite. Motion. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we go shimmy. Two. So we shake our hips side to side really fast and let everything, everything, everything jiggle. Come a little closer for you. Shake it. Shake it all out. Mm -hmm. My feet are flat on the floor, pressing down. My knees are bent and they are bobbling back and forth. Inhale. Ah, shimmy. See if you can get it to be a little bit bigger. Last, we're almost there. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. One more time. Shake it all away. Let anything you're holding on to that is holding you back just push, get out of here. You don't need it. Deep breath in. Okay. 
We start to slow it down. Start. Start to move once again, however you want. this free dance. I want you to just move however you desire and get curious. How can you start to move in isolations and let those isolations be really nourishing. As you dance, listen to my words. Let yourself slip into this space of not thinking, and being still with your body. What does that dance make you feel? The full moon today. It's been a very hard couple of weeks. No matter where you are, we've gone through it. There's been a huge ramp up in the past two weeks, from the last new moon to this full moon. So I want you to notice everything you felt. Just let it flow through your head. Cry, feel chills, feel angry. Just let all that emotion dance through your body. Without any judgment. And let yourself move through this journey that you've been on the past two weeks. How does it wish to come out? Can you move your hips and your spine? Or does being still and strong in your presence suit you more? Your choice. Anything goes. Can you dance? Let yourself move. Moving through all of that, knowing from loss and struggle and confusion, sadness, anger, despair, confusion, all of these are temporary feelings. They are felt by us and are so real and at the same time are felt by everyone at some point or another. And so your feelings are not unique. They are and they are also felt. They are a current through humanity and in this have solace, feel okay about being in your feels. Now as you feel this big moon above us, I want you to let yourself find your empowerment in who you are. And know no matter what comes up, what else comes our way, we have capability to move through it physically, literally, and figuratively. You have the tools, your investigation, curiosity, ability to try something new and adapt and be resilient is key. There will be many more changes. So flow as the water as the air and the wind, as the fire, and you grounded. Take a deep breath. Here we come to the end of our time together. I desire for you to find comfort in your own strength, and the ability to use my experiences as a mirror for yours. As we share, we shine. Thank you for joining me today. Please give yourself some time to stretch and cool down and connect with people. Get off your devices. Please find time to just be and feel the carpet, the floor under your feet and the fabrics around you and the food in your mouth. Ah.
<sighs> I'm going to read Meg's intention aloud because it just popped up. Intention, I move to expand love, body, and consciousness. And it feels so good. So please, find your own intentions. Find practices that ground you and make you feel so you in these next coming days. I'll see you again here next week. I'll be doing these weekly. We have burlesque at 6.30. Um, and then belly dance at eight. I'm also going to be doing a live dance party, dance experience on Saturdays now. And that'll be free to everybody. And so please, please, please come. I don't know what they're going to look like. It will be mostly a free um, and open way to celebrate. I will probably put little dance nuggets in there and think about different concepts um, give a little lesson to start out, and then we'll have a little dance party. I'll be inviting my roommate and my lover. Maybe we'll have some live music from Jason. We'll see. However we are, um, please join in, tune in. Thank you for being here on my Patreon. Um, spread the word. Please, if you're watching this later, um, drop something in the notes. If you're here watching me now, drop something in the live chat. I'm here to connect with you for a little while longer. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, Heidi, I love you so much. Jennifer, thanks for tuning in. Mm, I, yeah, appreciate all of you, especially as I learn all of these new things. It is um, something that's coming slowly, and I cannot wait for the day in space and place as I know we all are and so patience the best thing we can do is stay away from each other and not share pathogens we can outsmart this little thing <laughs> um, this mindless virus who we give so much mind to thank you thank you yeah dance parties on Saturday yeah um, and so also, um, I am here in my studio creating a lot and I'm making silk veils. So stay tuned to see what all those look like. Um, I'm doing the dance party on Saturday and probably some live cabarets um, as people have asked me to perform live. So I'll be putting those up here on Patreon individually and then also probably um, on the different cabarets as they go. So once again, thank you so, so much. Drop something in a live chat or message me afterwards. I would love to hear your experiences, what you like, and if you can tell me anything that will guide our journey next week or on Saturday. So with that, all of my love. Sayonara. Ciao. Adios. From my heart to yours. I'm Gia.